everybody welcome back to the training of the modicon m two two one in this video we're going to talk about the functions lifo and fifo that we have in ecostructure machine expert basics so let's go to the presentation to talk about a little bit about this so we're going to talk about the lifo and fifo functionalities that we have this function blocks that we have leaf on FIFO start with this percentage R, okay, and then the number of the instance. Um, this allowed us to store up to 16 words inside this instance that we have. For those who don't know what is leaf or FIFO, LIFO stands for last in, first out, and FIFO stands for first in and first out. So this is related to if you have a box of memory that you have, it will depend on how the data will be entered into the into this box and then how it's going to be um, retrieving for this memory block that you have. You're going to see that later. Now, um, in order to enter a value or a variable into this um, FIFO LIFO function block that we have, we need to associate the percentage r number of the instant dot i for input to a percentage nw variable and in order to retrieve a value that we have we need to use the percentage r w r uh, sorry percentage r the number of the instance dot o for output okay to a percentage nw variable so we can retrieve the data from the uh, FIFO LIFO function block. Now, imagine that we have on this percentage RW, uh, percentage R, percentage R variable, okay, this input, and we activate the storage, it will enter into the memory in this position, okay, just completing this. Now, if we have defined this instance as FIFO, Okay, it will, let me just check here how we can, it's in this one, Bad. so every time I retrieve, okay, it will move this value over here, okay, to this percentage R x dot zero, that we link it to the one that we have defined mm -hmm, over here, for example, so let's continue with this. Now the next the next time okay this value will be lost because now it's moved over here. Now the next time I retrieve for the function block, then the number two will appear, okay, and then this one or the second element will appear, okay, and it will be in this position, and then this one will move over here at the bottom in case I need to store more information. Now if I retrieve once again. This will be disappear over here and it will appear over here. Okay, so this is what we call the. Let me just delete all this. <laughs> Perfect. So this is what it meant FIFO, the first one, okay, which is the first one who has entered into the um, instance block that we have, is the first one to live the memory. Okay, that is what I meant. Now, it is everything. Now, imagine the opposite way. Okay, let's forget about this part. If we had configured as a LIFO, if I retrieve from here, okay, the first element that will be leaving this will be the last one who has entered into the storage. So the tree will be over here, okay, and this one will be disappear. Now, the next time I retrieve an element will be the number two, because now is the last one over here. And then if I retrieve once again, the only one available is this one. So we move over here. Okay, so this is what I meant with LIFO. The last input element on the storage, this one, would be the first to live. Okay. That is what I meant. So, erase all. Let's continue with this. So, in order to use the function block in the code, it's very simple. 
we need to go to the function block icon and then select this one okay once we click on this and pay, um, put it in one place in our code we have the possibility to configure FIFO or LIFO and if we double click on this one we can go to the FIFO LIFO properties function block and if we move a little bit around this function block we can see the uh, some description about the inputs and outputs and you can see here you have the reset if you want to reset what is inside this if you want to storage or if you want to retrieve one value okay and this one is just indication if it's empty or full and if you double click you can see here the register properties and you can configure over here if you want to be LIFO or FIFO this is just an example how you can program the, the software just assign a few percentage m that you that you want you can assign this just for a status and this is important part if you want to enter a new value okay you can see that you have have the two points uh, the colon and the equal in order to move a new value okay into the into the register that i have just delete all this stuff good and then on the opposite way when i execute this okay the retrieval i just move what is inside into this percentage nw11 this is just an example and what you can see here is the same logic that we have but what it changed is what is inside in here i have a lifo and this one i have a fifo so now what you can do is to create a different project and create the logic to test these both uh, function blocks. I have made this example, which is the example that you saw in the presentation, just to show you. Just need to go here and select this one, which is leaf of FIFO register. Select one position that you want. Okay, you can see you have a leaf of FIFO. It's very simple. If you double click over here, you can go to the register properties. And if you don't know or you don't want to do this, to just go to tools software object that you have leaf of FIFO register and you have all this information over here now i'm going to list this part i'm going to compile this and show you how does it work at least one of them okay <laughs> perfect let's play this now i'm going to use uh, fifo i have created this table over here you can see how I can access to the information. So um, can show you the new value, which is the percentage NW10. I'm going to assign the number mm -hmm, 10. So this is the value that I want to save into the memory. So I'm going to use this one, the input for storage one. Now I want to say the value 20 and storage now i want to say the value 30 storage now if i want to retrieve this okay and read what is inside the i'm going to put this in zero if i want to retrieve what's inside this memory that i have what we need to do is to retrieve with this one okay with the input um, o and assign this instance dot o okay the output to a percentage nw variable so which is this one so first in first out in this case i have entered the number 10 to 20 and 30 so if i retrieve the value it should be the number 10 and then the number 20 and then the number 13. every time i use the the input for the output so let's go back over here have retrieve okay as you can see here it's 20 uh, sorry it's 10 now if I touch this again should be 20 and if I touch this again should be 30 and you can see here that the output free is activated because there is no more elements inside 
the instance of the function block that I have this memory for the FIFO. So this is simple. You can test it. Um, I believe there is nothing else to or something special to discuss here. But this is how you can use the FIFO LIFO. Um, there is no, if, as far as I know, there is no uh, percentage S or percentage SW for the system variables uh, associated with this. So this is it. Um, thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one. Thank you.